Hello everybody, uh, Dorian here, welcome to another Captain's Vlog. Uh, it's like 4.30 right now, and um, we just finished having a party at the house here. It was pretty cool. Um, got to talk with my friend Amber and uh, Adam, two really cool people. Um, I see them all the time, but I haven't really I, actually had like a... A real conversation with them so this was a really good chance to do that and it was a lot of fun um, talked about all sorts of stuff it was, it was it was enjoyable but that was kind of it for tonight you know um, you know like did usual drinking stuff like uh, King's Cup Boom Cup uh, I jumped in at the end of a game of beer pong you know stuff like that like nothing big played a lot of black desert today I went from level 17 to 40 <laughs> um, I'm kind of wanting to stream that if I can find some people to play with, because um, I think that'd be kind of cool. It's a really cool game, but um, the most actually like the biggest thing about this weekend uh, was I was yesterday Friday night and I did two things pretty much. Um, one, we went to the Phoenix Art Museum, and uh, me and Amelia went to Phoenix Art Museum, and that was really cool. There was this exhibit done by um, an artist named Creed, and it was basically, God, I forget, it was like 24 square feet, you know, like tall, wide, whatever, and a cube, and like 12 of it was filled with uh, giant white latex balloons. Um, so half the space was taken up by balloons. And the whole premise, and this is the kind of art I like, it was the whole premise was that he he really didn't do anything he he built four walls and shoved a shit ton of balloons in it but it was art it's kind of like the punk rock of art when you think about it it's like making art out of anything just because just because you you come up with it it's art and it was really cool going in and um it was you know it was full of balloons and it, it was honestly like it was a really cool experience you go in and it's this, this big white room and, it, and it's full of white balloons. You have no idea where you are. You get lost so quickly and then, you know, there's like 10, 15 other people in there with you. And you're going through and there's just like balloons everywhere. You're moving it all out of the way. And it was really cool. Like it was. It was really cool. And we got to stay in there for a couple minutes. And it was a lot of fun. I was just moving balloons all over the place. Um, it was a lot of fun. I posted some pics and uh, I think a video on my Instagram and my Snapchat. Um, if any of you guys follow that, my Instagram is uh, EGN underscore Dorian. Honestly, trying to think of a new name, but uh, Dorian's taken and I don't want to use the Dorian show for Instagram. Um, but that was a lot of fun. It was really cool. Um, if you're in the Phoenix area, I would highly suggest going to the Phoenix Art Museum, checking out the exhibit it's um at the bottom floor of the cats exhibit of the caps cats section other than that um the other thing we did on friday night is we went to the stand up live um over at copper blues in the cityscape and that was really cool we saw this guy um can't for the life of me remember his name right now um, but he was a lot of fun. He was used to be. He was. Uh, he did stand up once on the Tonight Show. He's on this show. Um, it's that sitcom with a bunch of old guys. Uh, it has like Al Roker, uh, Bradshaw, Teddy Bradshaw, Terry Bradshaw, Jesus Christ, Terry Bradshaw. Uh, it has a couple celebrities on there, and he's he's in um, in that show as well. It was a lot of fun. So. I haven't really gone to a stand-up event like that. Like I've seen stand-up comedians and stuff like that, like uh, at stadiums, like big, big ticket type things. But I've never really gone to like a, like a small stand-up type um, show, you know, where it was just like here's a comedian and an open mic, and you're in a bar and there's a stage, like, and you just listen to him fucking test out some jokes, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, Copper Blues surprisingly had like pretty good prices they had a uh, $15 nachos which sounds overpriced but the nachos were like this big and like this tall and they had like shredded chicken on them and like amazing like sauce and guacamole they had like you know multiple like whole fucking jalapenos on there it was fucking delicious they had a house charnay or cabernet 
Uh, that was just fucking good. It was just so good. You know, like, I've thought about it a few times that if, like, I wasn't so focused on making a life out of YouTube that I would do stand-up comedy. But at the same time, like, I don't feel like I, like, I have the, like, right kind of humor for stand-up comedy, you know? Um, like, I, I personally don't feel like I'm funny on my own. Like, I feel like I'm funny if I'm being, like, sassy or I have someone to build off of. And stuff like that. But as far as my own material, like, I don't feel like I'm really that, like, comedic. I wish I was, but I don't really feel like I am. Um, unless I'm drunk. If I'm drunk, then, like, I have no filter and I kind of just make jokes. Um, but aside from that, like, I don't really feel like... And I, I feel like a lot of those comedians are drunk when they go up. Like, this guy had, like, two beers in the course of the one stand-up. <laughs> it's kind of a nice life when you think about it, but... Um, that was a lot of fun. It was really cool to, like, kind of experience that. I start work in, in 25 hours. Start my job in 25 hours. I go in at 5.30 a.m. on Monday. Right now it's uh, 4.30 a.m., 4.40 a.m. on Sunday. Holy shit. I start work pretty soon. I don't know really how I'm going to do it. Like, I know overall it's going to be good for me. I'll get out at 11.30, I'll have lunch, I'll come home, I'll make a video, I'll take a nap, I'll make a video, and then I'll have a couple hours to do whatever, and then I go to bed. And, like, there's not much room for a social life in that, but I, I get to have money. I get to do this, like YouTube, and communicate with you guys and make videos for you guys, and, like, I love that. It's just going to take some getting used to getting up at 5.30 in the morning. I feel like I'm going to be out of it for a little while. And then I'm going to... By the time like I'm awake, you know, I'll, I'll kind of be time to go home. My last job, I used to go in at 7. I'd get out at 5. Sometimes 6. That's when I think about it this way. I go in at 5.30 and get out at 11.30. That's way better than going in at 7 and getting out of 5 or 6. Like, it's 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 a ton better. I'd rather get up at 5.30 and get out in the middle before noon than, than fucking go in and get out in the middle of the afternoon. It's just going to take some getting used to, especially since the last two or three weeks I haven't been going to bed before, like, 8. Today wasn't, like, that crazy. Like I said, I had a party. Yesterday was a lot of fun. I, 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 I wanted to go more into into everything but um like i said like i just had a party today i'm a little drunk to be honest and i just wanted to share what's been going on i know i want to do these these vlogs more often and it'll be a lot easier because i mean starting monday i'm gonna have a job i'll have a lot more stuff to talk about i'm sure um things like what's going on at work and stuff like that and even though that might sound boring but i don't know there's always crazy shit going on in people's lives that they don't talk about to a lot of people. So, um, I'll definitely be able to share that stuff with you. And then, of course, I'm still going to do reaction videos and, and Let's Plays and all sorts of kind of stuff. I'm I'm going to have money, so it's going to be really nice to be able to do more Let's Plays. Um, though I know most of my subscribers so far, at least half of my subscribers so far, have been off of two videos. It's been off my DBZ abridged and my SAO abridged. Um, but there's only so many abridged videos I can do fucking uh, reactions to that I have to, I kind of have to do some work, you know? I have to kind of come up with my own content, not just mooch off of other people's stuff. It's kind of what reaction videos are, aren't they? Just mooching off of someone else's video and reacting to it. Um, I like Let's Plays. I can't wait for Outcast or Outlast 2. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's Plays are like my bread and butter. Like, I just enjoy them. Um, I like editing. Like the last video I did, the the one about the uh, the guy who dates old women and then the, the awkward kid at the conventions. I like those. I like editing videos like that. Um, but there's only so much content I can find on my own. So, like, if you guys have anything, feel free to send them to me. Um, I've asked friends and, and people to send them to me too. So we'll see if I get anything for 
for that. But if you if you guys know of any funny videos that you want me to to do some videos on, by all means, like fucking message me, post some comments down below, uh, whatever it is, really, I'll get to them. So, um, other than that, I don't really have much else to talk about. So. I'm going to cut it off here. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, other than that, like always, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will catch you in my next video. Later.